Okay, this week's new product introduction of the week is from TDK. This is brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. Yay. What is the MPI of the week? Okay, this week's MPI, I want to get the part number right, so I'm reading it off the DigiKey bag. It's the uh, TDK WCT38466. It's a uh, patterned uh, coil for wireless um, power transmission. Uh, also known as uh, Qi charging. And uh, this is a popular way to do uh, wireless charging and you need to basically have a chip and an antenna and the chips are you know easy, easy to get. Um, but the antennas have had improvements in design and so that's what we're talking about this week. Because TDK has been making these antennas for a while. So this is uh, the WCT38466. Um, as you can tell, it's got like this loop, you know, these loops of uh, copper that form the antenna coil that one half of the inductive charging coil um, and it's nice and thin and very flat and funky um, so it's basically like a custom designed it comes all ready to go and I'll, I'll show it on the overhead um, at the end of this um, basically designed to work with anything with Qi charging and um, you just wire it up to um, the battery uh, sorry the Qi management charger chip, you know, which usually is, is of course separate than the antenna, um, and it, it kind of does everything for you, and you just slip this into the design, uh, the back of your design, um, and to add wireless charging. Um, so the thing that's uh, cool about this is it's super, super skinny. Uh, so traditionally, um, these uh, charger coils were uh, super chunky, a couple of millimeters thick. I think the previous version was like three millimeters. Uh, they are now under one millimeter. Ooh, amazing! So skinny, which means it's even easier than ever to add it um, into you know an existing or upcoming design. Um, so what's really nice is that you know over the last few years that I've, you know starting in like about ten years ago there were a lot of different um, wireless charging standards. Um, I like Duracell had one, but the one that's kind of won out. Thankfully, uh, there is a standard now. Is this uh, QI Qi charging? standard, which is what's used in almost like every phone um, these days. I believe even Apple phones use the standard. Um, and that's really good because it means that you, you, know, you have to have the charger matching with the charger base. And traditionally, if you wanted to um, you know, use wireless charging in your device, you'd have to like have the you know, two coils. So let me go to the next page. We have two coils. You have a custom charger. Like, and we sell these in the store. You have a custom transmitter or custom receiver and when they enter a line um, the magnetic fields uh, you know uh, cross couple and you get power transmission from one to the other basically it's, it's a transformer with an air core in the center and the air core is like the universe um, but the problem is is that like they're not very smart like this you know this has no control over what the voltage is going to be or how much current whereas uh, the T charging standard there's some communication so it like knows that it's the right kind of charger and it's not going to just like turn on the power and you know if you happen to have a 12 volt output coil it's not going to like blast your electronics um so that's really nice and they of course come in uh five watts and i think 15 watts is the next generation the problem is that if you wanted to add wireless charging traditionally like on toothbrushes and other devices you would have to produce manufacture both the transmission and the receiving side you know using something like this whereas What's nice with having a standard is you can get off the shelf charging plates and then like you put your device on the charging plate um, and you don't have to worry about that part. You can just worry, worry about the device you're using. Um, so this is what the original uh, Qi charging antenna looked like. So there was three antennas and they were all like, they would work together. So no matter how you arranged the board on the charging plate, uh, it would work. And I think this is, this is the, you know, what TDK was talking about. This used to be like three millimeters thick. Um, this massive coil and you see it's like protected with um, like a fabric so it doesn't with vibration it doesn't um, short out which of course would be bad and, and cause the wireless to stop working um, so instead of this uh, tri coil design we now have um, a single pattern design much much thinner much more flexible but uh, uh, and, and actually at least as good or better um, patterning for you know where where the device is on the plate so it'll maintain uh charging because you're not when you want to have something like a 
a toothbrush, you know, it fits into a holder and the holder is like designed with a little nub and so it fits perfectly. With a phone, people sort of slap it down on the charger. You, do, you don't want to make sure that it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned um, to still get a very good charge rate because that, that's the experience that users want to have. Um, so now there's also a much more even um, efficiency, like there aren't any cold spots. Everything has kind of got this, you know, 80% plus efficiency, which is really great for wireless charging. And all you have to do is you have to match this with, again, a charging chip, which, um, you know, I just looked and I found like this one in particular. I'm not recommending this one in specific, but it's just this is what they look like. Um, and this plugs into your, the rest of your, your power management circuitry, uh, connects to the, uh, the, the TX coil pads. Um, and then like it'll give you an interrupt and tell you like, hey, you know, data's coming in. Sorry, power's coming in. Uh, this is how much power it can provide and you can use it to charge your internal battery. Um, you know, it was interesting. You were you just got to watch the from like a Kickstarter, and yeah. they don't even have a, a USB port on it anymore. Um, yeah. It basically uses only you know Bluetooth low energy, and then you charge it with um, wireless charging. So this is kind of the future because you know the moment you have a charging, you know, the, if you're using Bluetooth low energy for data, um, a USB port all they do is like break or get dust in them, or they can crack. Um, it's a major failure point, even with USB-C, uh, which has, you know, 10,000 or whatever insertion cycles. Um, they can just break or they can get damaged and then the whole thing stops working. Whereas with this wireless charging capability, you know, there's less, um, there's less mechanical risk and you can have the whole thing be uh, weatherproof or ruggedized. Um, if you want like a matching transmission, of course, like I said, you can use an off the shelf charger. We also have this charging you know plate element that you can integrate um you see you just give a usb-c and uh it will automatically work with any uh cheat charging plate so you know here's a demo of it charging some android phone um quite nicely and available on digikey it's in stock it is in stock um there's 187 yes and i wanted to show we'll show a video but i can also show it off it's just interesting, especially you're getting your watch that doesn't even have a USB port really reminded yeah. me uh, that this is kind of the future. Everything's just gonna have this integrated in. So this is the pattern coral, so it's protected. It's uh, weatherproofed with this uh, nice rubbery um, uh, coating, but you can see the patterning. Uh, there's a mounting hole in the center to you know, make sure it's centered. And then um, on the back is this uh, uh, adhesive that's protected. Um, and then you just, this one comes with a little header, like a plain header, but of course you can remove the header, uh, solder this directly to your PCB and it's, you know, instant wireless charging with a standard uh, that you can get off the shelf charging plates. All right, we're gonna play the video. Um, but I did want to mention something because someone said in one of the chats, did anyone see the Apple event today? Because they have, you know, AirPods and iPhones. They love and, wireless charging and, too. And yeah. watches. Um, so, there is a big world out there and we can all watch these keynotes and all these things and we can figure out what we want to buy but then some of us like to build stuff and you know the the next thing that people will be wearing or doing 10 years from now five years from now 15 years from now is going to be thought up and worked on by someone who's doing electronics maybe early on in their career now or maybe it's something that they're going to work on later so um, you get to see a little glimpse of the future every single week on NPI. It's the new products that are available, and a lot of these things are what's gonna be in everything later. So let's watch a video, and that'll be this week's INMPI.
Yeah.